What happens when you ask a Ku Klux Klan leader and a black activist to work together in 1970s North Carolina? Something like throwing gasoline on the fire? Well, not exactly, but you will see burning gasoline, and more importantly, people changing for the better, even profoundly, in The Best of Enemies. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. The year is 1971. The city is Durham. It's a far cry from today's world where racism is almost universally condemned in the South and elsewhere. The story hits close to home for me. Early on, we see the Ku Klux Klan ending their meeting with prayer. That brought back a memory from the 1980s, when, as a radio reporter, I covered a Klan parade through another North Carolina city. I was horrified to see the marchers calling on God to bless their activities. And as recently as 2001, there was still a billboard informing drivers that the Klan welcomes them to Johnston County. The event that set the stage for the rest of the movie was a fire that severely damaged a black elementary school. The students had nowhere to go, and the NAACP filed a lawsuit demanding integration. Rather than rule on the case directly and risk offending his constituency, the judge promised to do whatever a committee of blacks and whites decided together. Klan leader Claiborne Paul Ellis, better known as CP, and activist Ann Atwater, also known as Roughhouse Annie, for her unrestrained way of advocating for others, were recruited as co-chairs, along with ten other members of the voting leadership. CP only agreed so he could represent white supremacists. Anne only agreed so she could represent her people. The actors, Sam Rockwell and Taraji P. Henson, did such a good job with their facial expressions that they almost could have played their roles without speaking. But don't get me wrong, the dialogue was important. All good dramas feature character arcs. According to Wikipedia, it's the transformation or inner journey of a character over the course of a story. As it says, the character begins as one sort of person and gradually transforms into a different sort in response to changing developments. The character arcs of C.P. Ellis and Anne Atwater are amazing, especially Ellis's. It's nice to know this is a true story. I don't want to give away too many spoilers. You need to see this unfold for yourself. Suffice it to say, Ellis's respect for veterans challenges his racism, and Atwater's kind deed for his son helps Ellis to see her differently. I just wish we knew more of the spiritual influences on Ellis's transformation. It's hinted at, but not too aggressively, as in this interchange. I have a Bible. What did you ought to know? No, what? Same God made you, made me. You can always tell a good movie when the audience applauds in the theater. This happened three times in the preview showing I attended. Oh yeah, I need to tell you this. Don't be in too much of a rush to leave the theater when the closing credits begin, or you might miss a nice surprise. Meeting the real C.P. and Anne, filmed some time ago before they passed away. The Best of Enemies hits theaters nationwide on Friday, March 29th. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Bye.